Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again with a short message on self-control. David was called as a man after God's own heart. But in 2 Samuel 11:27, we read about him as the Lord considered what David had done to be evil. This refers to the cost David had to pay for his failure in controlling lust. Lust is a huge problem in our world and in our society and is probably the greatest contributor to the destruction of relationships. Like gravitational force, the lust inside us experience pull by the attractions of the world. The things we see, hear, smell, touch and taste has the potential to trigger the lust in us. We call this as temptation. Temptation can be material temptation, the lust for things, personal temptation, the lust for status or special recognition, sensual temptation, the lust for another person. In 1 John 2.14, we read that the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life comes from the world, diminishing the love of God in us. James 1.14 says, Each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. The lust may be a sinful desire, a desire to take revenge, a desire to control others, or even some legitimate ones like the desire to be loved, the desire to be valued, etc. We allow lust because we choose to do so by being attracted by the pleasures it offers. We entertain lust out of curiosity. What started as experimental slowly takes control of our life. We allow lust because it is enjoyable. Lust affects us emotionally, physically and spiritually. Satan is tempted. He is in the business of sowing doubts or seducing suggestions that will keep us away from God, driving us into temptation and deception. When the attractions of the world capture our attention, lust is aroused. When we do not control the lust, it will end up taking the position of controlling us. Soon, it will influence our habit and our behavior. Exercising control over lust is self-control. In Proverbs 25, 28, we are told that a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. In 1 Corinthians 9, 25 to 27, Paul says that Christians need to exercise self-control like athletes. Colossians 3, 5 talks about putting lust to death, meaning deactivating the lust. Lust control or self-control means the ability to control one's emotions and behavior in the face of temptation and impulses. Temptation is not sin in itself. It will become sin when we fall in temptation. God allows temptation to make us spiritually stronger. Root grows stronger when wind blows against the tree. Every time we overcome a temptation, we develop self-control and it strengthens our spiritual life. Exercising self-control over lust is essential for our spiritual growth. In order to develop self-control, we need to realize that we are victims of lust and need change. We must accept our fault. 
whenever lust is triggered the quickest way to neutralize it is to think something else identifying the typical pattern of temptation and taking steps to avoid such tempting things places and persons will help when we fail in temptation it is important not to give up in our struggle against lust we need to depend on god for the strength to overcome lust being led by the indwelling holy spirit produces self control in us thank you for listening god bless you